So I grew up in Indianapolis um, on, in a south side suburb and um, my family is very Catholic so we went to church every week growing up and um, I had two brothers, two sisters and my parents and I remember that we would say prayers every night before bed so we would all come tumbling down the stairs and assemble and um, so we had a lot of those rituals as part of our life growing up and learning the culture of the rosary and how that worked with the different seasons of the church year. So faith has always been central to me. Um, and as I grew older, I think I started to understand faith as more connected to service. I started to see the gospel lived out in different ways. So at first it was teaching a Sunday school and, and helping with catechism at my own church or being part of the choir. And then as I got a little older and um, worked my way through Catholic school, um, we started hearing a little bit about things like Catholic social teaching and morality and how that fits in with, with the gospel and with our daily life. So um, I got a lot of exposure growing up and I actually had a couple of Sisters of Providence in grade school. So one sister, um, James Michael was our principal in grade school, and then in third grade, um, Sister Regina Norris taught me. And so at that time, I wasn't, my brain wasn't in the realm of thinking about religious life, but I still had an idea that there were these women out there who dedicated their whole lives to, to this teaching.